So we're back on another part of the uh, kind of little series I was uh, hoping to do on the Sen. Um, and now I've got the lift kit in, I do want to change these tyres. They are a bit hard. Um, and uh, the the I want to reuse the, the wheels. So I had a little scan of uh, the old Facebook groups. Um, and... Uh, I also changed the tyres on my Traxxas UDR, and there is a little trick where you put them in a an airtight container, put a wheel in, and submerge it in acetone. And my UDR tyres came off within a couple of days. You just peel them off. Um, I wanted to. I had to re-glue them, and um, I decided to paint the stock wheels on my UDR. And uh, I thought, well, let's try it on these. So we tried it on one. Um, because there is a risk of melting the wheel itself on some certain tires some some sorry some wheels there is a risk of melting the wheel um, and uh, it worked on the UDR but unfortunately I tried it I left it overnight in as well actually no it was above the acetone on a bit of metal in the vapors of the acetone in an airtight container and it did actually melt the wheel now I was lucky um, that it didn't melt it completely. If I'd have submerged it, it probably would have dissolved. But I am in a lucky position that I can save it. So obviously you can see what, how much it damaged the wheel. Um, but not to worry, is it's still usable. Fortunately enough, I can hide, obviously they're dualies, so I can hide the, uh, the, um, the damaged one on the inside of the dually on the back, which is good. So do not put it in acetone. But I did get them off, however, by going very slowly around the bead with a scalpel. So what I did was kind of uh, come in, peeled, peeled the tire back and come into the bead and cut it nice and slow along there because I... I kind of like these wheels, they're okay, but trying to build Julie's myself seems a bit complicated and it's saving money. I decided to not cheap out, but reuse what I've got. Um, I did buy new tires, however, and um, a lot of people can, they say you can stretch a 2.2 tire over these wheels. Um, so I'm gonna do one just for you now, just to give you a little bit of an idea. So these are 2.2 tires. Um, and they are 130 millime uh, 137 millimetres outside diameter. Um, and they're pretty fat, I must admit. Now they are, they are a little bit difficult to peel on. You will get the hang of it, especially when you're doing six of the bloody things. Um, come on. So these are just cheap eBay specials. I kind of skimped on the tire. I'm not too bothered about going with a Proline. I know they're compounds. You've got the G8 and Predator. I run them on the LCG cooler over there. Um, and I wasn't too bothered about the compound on these. So if I were to go in Proline, I'd be spending like 90 quid, almost 90 quid. They're, they're normally about, 25 to 30 quid a pair. I got a set of two sets of four for 57 quid of these tires. Um, and I thought that was pretty good. And uh, as I say, I'm not too bothered about the compound. They're, they're bigger than what I've got. They're, they're, they're a lot more aggressive and I'm hoping they're gonna be good in the mud. So I'm gonna show you what I do, or what I did to get the tire off. I'm gonna do a little example here. Just cutting, the, just cutting along the bead. Now, when I last done it, it did kill my thumbs when I was trying to peel this bead back. So I'm just gonna try and break along that glue line just a bit, just get my scalpel in there. And you just wanna keep going round. I just wanna keep, keep slicing along that bead. So I've put the new tyres on the stock wheels, temporarily, they're not glued, just to try and um, have a little test fit. Um, and I ran into something I didn't expect, 
and that is that the these front and rear center adapter type things that go onto your hex on on the axles um, are actually different lengths and it also has two different size or two different lengths of hex mount so what i thought to do was so the the narrower wheel adapter goes on the back of the truck and so does the narrower sorry the narrower hex and then the longer wheel adapter and the longer hex goes at the front so what i thought i'd do is use so what the the trouble i was running into is that the inside dually tire with the the the, the ordinary hexes and wheel mounts on the back were rubbing on this sway bar the front uh, wheel adapter on the back and then the rear wheel adapter on the front so i can now run these uh ebay special wheel extenders hex extenders uh, you can buy these in loads of different sizes um and when i actually tested them on the truck without without changing these adapters to fit the the, the dually wheels to the axles I uh, found that it was very narrow, so I was looking at, ex at widening the front track width anyway, so I've kind of killed two birds with one stone um, anyway. Um, so yeah, we won't be using the, f the rear hexes anymore as we're now using the back ones, the front ones on the back. I'm using a couple of little washers on these nuts as well. Uh, just so it uh, spreads the load a bit inside this uh, little hub adapter thing. Probably could use a bigger one, but I'm not too bothered. Just as it's got something something in there, um, I'm going to get the wheels on. Here we go. Here's my uh, modified 8mm socket. Um, I've uh, just ground a little um, bit of material off the, the outer portion um, so it'll fit in that hub well. Um, all I did was put it in the chuck, first of all, make sure it was nice and straight. I've got my drill in the vise. Use a clamp to uh, hold the throttle in, um, and all I did was uh, just use the angle grinder just to uh, carefully take a little bit, little bit of material off there. Just another thing, I thought I was going to have to take a little bit of material out of here, but luckily enough, I was able to take enough material off this socket and uh, um, make it fit nicely. So we've got the new tyres on the original wheels. We'll lock tight these front uh, nuts at some point because obviously we've replaced the uh, nylon lock nuts. Um, but that's how she looks with the body on. Those hex extensions have uh, filled out the front end quite nicely. Um, and uh, show you from the back. Oh, side first, actually. She looks sweet. Back end, super wide. Um, so yeah, that is uh, kind of how you change your change your tires.